What's up guys, how's everyone doing? In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to delay OTA from 15.4 or 15.1 to 16.5. This obviously is to be on an iOS 16 jailbreakable firmware. If you want to do this, you have until September 19th until the window closes. And if you want to jailbreak at any point in the near future, 16.5 is the firmware to be on. So, the very first step in the process is uninstalling whatever jailbreak you're on. If you're on Xena, make sure you go inside of the settings in the Xena app and select uninstall Xena jailbreak, and it's pretty easy from there. Same thing if you're on Dopamine, make sure to just go in the settings and tap on remove jailbreak, and then it should just remove it and it says device is not bootstrapped, and there you go. Also, you can uninstall any leftover jailbreak related apps inside of Troll Store if you want to. That'll just make sure that everything is clean and ready to go. Before we go any further with this, it's very important that you make sure that you have enough storage. Updating via OTA on device requires several gigabytes of on device storage. Also, it goes without saying to make sure that you have an iCloud or iTunes backup of your device before proceeding. The next thing we're going to do is use Troll Store to sideload an app, and if you don't have Troll Store, here's how to set it up. So all of the links will be down below in the description. You just want to copy and paste the first link in the description. It's going to ask if you want to open it up in iTunes. Tap open, and you can go ahead and just press install here. Troll Helper wants to install, and then if you go ahead and go out, you can see an app that says JB will now start to install on your device. And then once that's done, you can see it says GT. GTA Car Tracker. Pretty much this is just an installer for Troll Store. So all you have to do is tap install Troll Store. And then once the device resprings and you're back up, you can see Troll Store is right there. Also, thanks to a core trust bug that was discovered, all you have to do is go into the Car Tracker app and hit Register Persistence Helper. And once you do that, Troll Store and whatever app you sign with Troll Store will just be permanently signed on the device and it will no longer expire after that 7 day limit which we're so used to seeing. Next up, go into the Troll Store app under settings and install LDID. So now that we have Troll Store set up, we can install Calabongo, we can install it from URL or download the IPA and do it that way. But you guys can see, here it is, Calabongo, now I can just go ahead and press install. And then once I do that, it'll install it and you can see it right up there. And now we open it and here we go. Now inside of Calabunga, you want to go to the tools section, other miscellaneous, and then scroll down until you find supervised. Go ahead and toggle that on. And once we do that, go to the home screen on this app, tap respring, then reboot your phone. And from there, if we did everything the right way in settings, we should see the message, this iPhone is supervised and managed. Now we just wanna go to the link in the description below and select the 16.5 profile and download it. Just go ahead and press on allow. It's gonna say profile downloaded, review the profile in settings. So now go ahead and go in settings, general, and then VPN device management. And we should see that downloaded profile pop up. Now we can go ahead and install the profile. Go ahead and put in your passcode. Then from there, you can go ahead and just press on install and then install again. And once we do that, it'll install the profile and then we should be good to go. And now this is the important part. If we go into software update and we did everything right, we should see 16.5 show up. And now we're ready to install it and update. So this is kind of funny timing because in just under a week, Apple is having their annual iPhone keynote event. So there's gonna be a brand new phone very soon. And it's kind of funny because I've been sitting on iOS 15 for a while now. But now finally, once iOS 17 is coming out, now I'm going to iOS 16. So it's kind of funny timing, and I know I was jailbroken already on 15.1, but I wanted to obviously get to iOS 16 and experience the iOS 16 jailbreak whenever that does happen. Here's the dopamine app one final time, and you can see it says my device is not bootstrapped. I'm still on 15.1 as of this current moment while I update to 16.5. It's just crazy that after all this time, I'm finally going to iOS 16. The update process is continuing to go through. You can see it says preparing to update. So now we can go ahead and install it. It's gonna verify the update and continue to go through the update process.
and we're greeted with a hello screen. And from here, we can see that if we swipe up, it'll say software update complete. Your iPhone has been updated to iOS 16.5. I can go ahead and press on continue. And then from there, welcome the iPhone, swipe up to get started. If we go to settings general and about on our device, we can now see that it says iOS 16.5. Finally, being on iOS 16 is pretty awesome. Of course, you get all of the lock screen customizations as well as the dynamic changing battery icon and it just looks so awesome. Sure, I will miss jailbreak tweaks, especially dynamic stage just because of how special that tweak was, but hopefully we'll get a jailbreak on 16.5 at some point this century. We'll have to wait and see. Anyway guys, that's pretty much going to do it for today's video. If you did enjoy, please make sure to hit that like button. Also, go ahead and subscribe and turn that post notification bell on, so that way you never miss out on a brand new upload. Thanks everyone so much for watching. Have a good one guys. Peace.